Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I'm here with my new configuration for now. We added a couple inches of height, so hopefully this will keep me from going, hopefully, will keep me from going out of frame until um, next month when I get to move my whole room around. So this is uh, the next journal that I have for my Etsy shop. It is a cardstock to cardstock five hole pamphlet stitch soft cover um, journal. I've used one of these bubble stickers on the front. You can see it comes up. One of the squares from my mom's stash as well as some of that peach cheesecloth fabric and I also used my collage um, a piece of the collage stickers that I made and then the the closure ribbon is also from my mom's stash so when I say cardstock to cardstock and then it does have the, it has the reinforced spine here um, I have a large pocket with some stenciling and then I just added this piece of file folder that you can write in and a tag and we have several of these tags throughout we have a doily here and it is um, adhered to our uh, charger plate embossed charger plate with some stenciling on the outside it's coffee dyed and then we have the little gardener girl and she's from the spring digital one page and some more stenciling and washi tape here we have one of the playing card embellishments that I made for one of the challenges and here is a florist card and some play money all of that on a vintage atlas with another one of the stickers here and then here we have the gathered ribbon and I sewed it onto this piece of guest check and then I glued paper to paper I was able to make these and put them in after the journal was already made so this is a flip-flop here you open it up and you've got several pages for journaling and another one of the large tags some stamping here as well got some stenciling and some stenciling we have a large pocket these pockets are awesome and they hold really well. We have another one of the large tags and a bird in the tree card as well. A little tab here. Again, I sewed the um, the the cheesecloth <laughs> cheesecloth fabric onto the tab or the little label, and then I I folded it to be a tab. This is one of the pages that I made in one of the. Um, previous videos for um, one of the challenges it has a piece of the digital some of the wrapping paper washi tape and lace and it is on some of that holy uh, grill paper grill like barbecue grill paper um, we have coffee dyed uh, paper doily and two other coffee dye papers with some stenciling. There's some stenciling here on this computer paper, more stenciling and stamping. Here we have a little notepad with three or four pages, some stamping underneath and washi tape here. We have a fold out pocket page. So, and this has decorated guest check in it. And then a tag in this outside pocket. Here we have, this is the lip or fold for a, an envelope and I just glued it down here and turned it into a tuck spot, added a card from the Spring Digital. Um, this was from Happy Mail and a blue file folder, or excuse me, um, index card. Some more stenciling here and this is more of the grill paper. The plant book, children's paper with stenciling. Here we have another image from the 
spring one page digital. This was a free digital that I gave to the winners in um, my live videos. Here is a um, this well, this is one of the ribbon or gathered ribbon fabric ribbon, and I have sewn that onto a piece of book paper, and then I was able to adhere it to the book page paper to paper. We have an image from Lindsay Zanor's uh, Light the Way, I think it's called Light the Way kit, and a green coffee dyed guest check. And those are just tucked in there. Washi tape on this beautiful coffee dyed paper. Here, this is a piece of stationery and I flipped it up in some creative folding, made a pocket, added a one of these peach guest checks and a little peach striped label, some stenciling there. Thomas Kincaid book page, some stenciling on coffee dyed paper, more stenciling on this music paper. from This is from an eight by eight pad. Um, a flip up, flip down. And I think I'm just about out of those from that batch. Um, this is also from one of Lindsay Zanor's kits. It was um, left over in my stash. And this is from a card that just a really pretty card I had in my stash and another one of the large tags and a little sticker up here. You turn the page and we have this large pocket. We have an envelope for the center of the signature and I've left it so that you can go ahead and open it up and inside we have some an origami paper folded and we have some um, so anyway, this envelope, I actually took it apart. I deconstructed it because the inside paper was so pretty. So um, I have left it deconstructed. You can go ahead and put it back together if you'd like. And I just have it being held with this paper clip here. I have a card from, it's from the same paper pad as this. And I just added it here with a little um, note paper. On this side, we have a panel card with a tag, some more stenciling, another one of the ruffled tabs. This time it's holding this here so that it could actually hold a card or something. We have some extra journaling space here and stenciling. This is the other side of the stationery and I have made it a tuck spot. We have another one of those beautiful stickers. We have some of the origami paper just folded in half. We have the cute little gardening girl and this time she is a, a tag, a project life card, and one of the florist cards all in there. So lots of places to write and keep things. Some more stenciling. We have the children's paper, the plant book. This one is attached to a guest check receipt piece. Again, sewed it on that and then I was able to glue that to the paper. We have an envelope here that has been decorated in one of the challenge videos. I stenciled here. There's a little card inside here and some washi tape. Even has a little charm that we made with glossy accents. We have a large pocket here. This is the other page from the fold out. And then we have a postcard from one of my digital kits. Excuse me. And this is two guest checks put together to make a little guest check notepad. Turn the page and there's our bug. We have a book page pocket with a little card in it that's been stamped down here. It is a index card so you can write on it. And this um, cheesecloth also comes out to the edge. And that was the other side is matches the cover. So here we have a Rolodex card that's been coffee dyed on the diamond grill. We have one of the stickers, some of the stenciling up here, a guest check, 
one of the digital prints, and then another one of those pretty cards, a um, appointment card, and one of the floral or florist cards, and a pink and white striped label. Some more stints or stamping, stenciling, grill paper, stamping, lace doily, grill paper, and this one. Oh my gosh, you can actually feel it's embossed. So the, the holes go down on this side, they go up on this side. Here's another one of the little um, ruffle tabs. And then in this pocket, sorry, we have a large file or index card, a large tag, and the kids out chasing butterflies. And perfect because we have butterflies all through this journal that are stenciled. Some more gorgeous coffee dyed paper. Here we're in Baltimore and Battle Creek on this side. Some more stenciling, stamping, stamping. Another one of the images from the spring one page digital, some more uh, stenciling and stamping and washi on the coffee dyed embossed um, charger plate. We have a doily at the end, a large pocket that is holding yet another um, large tag and file card. So there is my next journal. This one was made this weekend along with four others out of my stash box. So I took my stash box and I went one for you, one for you. <laughs> and I came up with four different journals. Um, a couple of them are similar, but the way that they're decorated is totally different. And um, this, this one is available in my Etsy shop and ready for a home. So I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. If there's something in here and you'd like to see how I made it, let me know in the comments and I can either um, guide you to one of my videos that is just me making, whatever that was, or I can go ahead and add that to my list of videos to make. So again, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe and have an amazing day. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.